second lesson of JSE Mathematics in a series of two lessons. The topic of this lesson is line graphs. The objectives of this lesson are to calculate profit, calculate percentage profit, draw a line graph from given data. Let's switch over to hear what Jason and his family are doing. Hey, Jason, so tell me, uh, how are you guys doing with the truck shop at school? Are uh, you making any profit yet? It's going well, Dad, and sure we're making a profit. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure it's not a loss? Yeah. Ah, Mom. <laughs> now tell us, don't keep us in agony. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Mom, but just a minute, I'll quickly go fetch my stuff in my room. Okay. Always clever. Okay. Ah. Let me show you. <clears throat> I made a line graph oh. now for the stock bought each week and for how much the stock was bought each week. Then for each week, I calculated the percentage profit that we made. <laughs> we actually have a competition going each month. The group that sells the most each month gets a small price. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold it there. I mean, you're going a little bit too fast for me. Yeah. Um, one thing at a time, please. Now, uh, you were saying something about the uh, line graph. Uh, yeah, sorry. I forgot you're a bit old. Hey, watch your mouth, young man. <laughs> okay. I'll show you from the beginning. Yeah. Now, look. In the first week, we bought stock for $1,500. The cost price of the stock that we sold was $1,500. The selling price of the stock that we sold was $2,200. Well, so that means you worked out the profit uh, by calculating the selling price from uh, minus the cost price? Yeah, hmm? and that is $2,200 minus $1,500, which gives us $700 for the first week. You're right. You're not as old as I thought after all. Hey, I'm warning you, Jason. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> so, um, you do this exercise every week? Yes, Dad. But first we need to do stock control to see what we really have left. Mm. Huh. And how do you do that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you simply go into the tuck shop and count the stock. Then we work out each item's selling price according to the cost price. But that sounds like a whole lot of lot work. Of work yeah. <laughs> yes, Dad, it is. But if you really want to be successful in your business, mm. you can't afford to slip up. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. once you have all the information, what do you do then? We decided to draw a line graph once every four weeks. So once every four weeks, we put the information onto a line graph. Now look, the bottom line of the line graph shows the cost price. And the top line shows the selling price. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, how do you draw the graph line? No, line graph. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. Here is the data for the first four weeks of the year. Mm. On a piece of graph paper, I draw an X and Y axis. Mm. Like this. Um, the X axis represents the number of weeks. And the y-axis represents the amount of money in the million dollars. Then I label my axes and number them. Oh. Now, because I work with big amounts, I can number my y-axis so that one centimeter equals $200. You see that? Mm. I only need four numbers on the x-axis. So two centimeters on the x-axis can represent one week. No. This is getting just too much for me. I need a cup of tea. What about you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That will be fine. Thanks, Lat. <laughs> can I have some juice, please, Mom? Yes, dear. Thank you, Mom. Wow. Um, Jason, yes, I, um, I did not want to mention this while your mom was around, but uh, you were talking about axes and stuff like that. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's really not that difficult, Dad. Yeah. Axes are the vertical and horizontal lines on a graph that you must draw before you can draw any graph. Okay, and the whole time I'm thinking we're talking about actual axes, <laughs> chopping wood and stuff like that, you know? Oh, Dad, no! So how far are you guys? Did I miss anything? <laughs> not really, Mom. Thanks for the juice, Mom. It's a pleasure, my dear. Thanks, love. Huh. So, what's next? Now, we must take the data that I showed you and plot them. Well, you see the data that I showed you? Mm -hmm. We take it and plot them. Uh, how? Hold it! Now, you know, as soon as I think I've got it, <laughs> then it just completely lose me. <laughs> what are you talking about? The plot uh. and stuff? <laughs> Plot simply means that yeah. you make a dot on the graph at the right place. Now, how do we know where the correct place is? Mm. <laughs> okay, I'll show you. Mm. Mom, can you give me the figure of the cost price for the first week? Yeah, mm. uh, yeah. it's 1,500 dollars. <laughs> yes. Now, you take your pencil and your ruler. Mm -hmm. Find the amount 1,500 on the y-axis oh. and put your ruler in a horizontal direction so that it goes through 1,500. Yeah. Now, go to your x-axis, find week one, move vertically up until you reach the ruler and where the two meet, you plot a point at the pencil. Mm, I, I see. Uh-uh, I didn't see. What? Okay, what? I'll do another one. Okay. Dad, what is the cost price in week two? Uh, well, um, let's see. Um, yeah, it's $1,350. Okay, Mom. Now look where I'm going to put the ruler. Mm -hmm. On 1350 of the y-axis. Can you see that? Yes. Now, this is the amount for week two. The weeks are on the x-axis, mm -hmm. so you must look at the x-axis. Can you point with the pencil where it should be? Um, there. Is it there? Yeah. Now, move up until you touch the ruler. Mm -hmm. That's right. Make a dot with the pencil. <laughs> You've got it. Wow. <laughs> that wasn't too hard. <laughs> Now we will complete the plotting of the points for the other two weeks. Mm. I'll quickly do that and then we draw the line. Okay. Uh, for the selling price, we will do exactly the same. Because we made a profit each week, the line is going to be higher than the line for the cost price. Yeah. To make a difference between the two, we'll make it two different colors. As soon as our lines meet and the selling price goes below the cost price, we know that we are not making a profit any longer. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, Jason, tell me, um, how did you calculate the percentage profit in the table and, and why did you calculate it? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me first answer the question, why? Mm. Remember that I told you that we have a competition running each month? Yeah, yeah. Well, it is more fair to give the price to the group that makes the highest percentage profit. But why is that, Jason? Well, sometimes there is less talk in the tuck shop. Mm -hmm. So the group cannot sell a lot that week. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, when there is more stock, the choices are more. So they can sell more. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's all making sense, <laughs> but but I, I just 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 want you to show us how to calculate the percentage profit. Yes. Okay. Look at the selling price and cost price again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How do we find the amount of profit that we made? I think it is the difference between the two. No. That is selling price minus cost price. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So during week one, it was. 2,200 Namibian dollars mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. minus 1,500 Namibian dollars and that is equal to 700 Namibian dollars. So the amount of profit was 700 Namibian dollars. Uh. So the 
profit, the amount of profit that is, that mm -hmm. we make is $700 million. Mm -hmm. To find the percentage profit, we calculate $700 million uh -huh. divided by the cost price, mm -hmm. which is $1,500. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and then you multiply it by 100, and that is equal to 46.7%. Wow, Jason, you have inspired me so much. I think I'm going to start my own business, like baking biscuits and sell them. Then I can make money every week. Hey, now that's a brilliant idea. You know what? You can actually save up and buy that uh, microwave you always wanted. <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah, mom. Yes. But you'll sure have to bake a lot of biscuits. Yeah. Yes, I will get right to it, but you will have to help me with all the calculations and graphs in the beginning. Please. <laughs> yeah, sure, mom. If I can have 5% of the profit. Now you're pushing your luck. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay, we can talk about that later. But you have to first promise me that you will help me. I promise, mom. <laughs> Let me just get this to the kitchen. Thanks, mom. Yeah. Oh. Let's now recap what we've learned today. Profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Access are vertical and horizontal lines on a graph. Percentage profit is profit divided by the cost price multiplied by a hundred. This brings us to the end of today's lesson. Goodbye.